Uh, we want to do SMTP server dots. And then we just want to send it. So, I was just making sure you're ready to send them, but we are. And we'll just quickly run through this. The, as you see, these are the properties for the, the two, the subject, the actual body, and this is the SMTP server. Then when we're ready, we just send via the SMTP server using the mail properties. Um, that's that is really that simple. I mean, I'll I'll run it here. I'll just log in. Okay, see so we've got no emails. Username. My username. My password. As you can see, it comes up with stars, which make them a lot more. Um, they feel a lot better about themselves to put in the password, unless it just comes up. You feel a bit dodgy if it just comes up, don't you? As I say, you don't want to, you don't want to to leave it like this. Obviously, that you want to customize it to whatever you're doing. I wanted to keep the video quite general, so people could use it for anything and not one specific game kind of thing. That won't pop out on my computer, by the way. <laughs> um, and once we're sent, there we go. It's sent. Username, my username, password, my password. Um, I'll just show you another one that I made, which is. I'll I'll get it up in the folder and just run the debug instead. This is a RuneScape kind of one, a RuneScape gold exploit. Um, I'll just show you this one, Zazimur. The instructions just say we found a RuneScape exploit in the general crap. And then click login. Wait for it to say ready. And then click exploit and it says completed exploit. And then we'll click inbox. Escape account says you may have always clicked twice by accident. There you go. And now, what I want to show you now is the fact that I'll open up Reflector for you guys. And what we're going to do is basically at the moment, that program is very easy to whale. Yeah, if you want to go watch my other whaling tutorials to see what whaling is, it's very easy to open it up, get the password, that kind of thing. And I'll show you how easy it is. You can just drag and drop this in. straight away there's my email and password and now we don't want that obviously we're gonna get a log stolen straight away and um, so the program that you want to download is smart assembly smart assembly is a obfuscator and that's going to make it so nobody can read the code so you want to download this it's only a 14 day trial but once it's full functionality and you only need to do it to your program once and obviously you can you can torrent this if you want but um, so once it's open and installed you want to start a new project click browse Once it finally loads, sorry about this, I've got loads of things open. Yeah, I'll just click, where's the debug folder? There we go. Okay, you want to just open up the program that you want to obfuscate. This will take a second to like open it up and get it and get the project open kind of thing. 
Yeah, just give it a minute. Here we go. And now what you want to do is you want to click set destination and you just want to set it to a new folder or something like that. No, oh, I'm trying to open something, that's why. You want to click, once it's open, click set destination. You want to click, you want to make a new folder. Yeah, just click save. Now it'll open all this up. Yeah, we can just close that. And now basically you want to go over to this one. Yeah, the scissors. You want to click the scissors called pruning. But you don't want to prune. You want to just go down. You want to click this box here that says um, in the obfuscation box. Um, and now you want to click free on this type methods of naming um, mangling. You want to click the bottom one. Uh, fields name mangling. You want to click the middle one, and then you want to click this control flow obfuscation as well. And you want to put that on to strongest, and then just click build. And this will take them in, especially when you've got about 15 things open. <laughs> uh, we'll just give it a minute and it'll get it done. And this is basically going to make it so that nobody can read that code and um, nobody, we aren't going to get whaled. Because that's the, I think me, me, actually making the fish here is e really easy to do, but stopping people from stealing your accounts is a lot harder. Uh, this program makes it really easy. So that's done now. We'll open up the new folder where it's just saved to. And I'm going to show you the difference. Yeah, we'll just minimize that one. Drag and drop this new one in. I will need to close that one first. Because it's the same name. Yeah, but we'll just drag and drop the new one in. And now you see when we go into here. All the code's unreadable. Nobody can, even if they get to like uh, uh, everything, you can't make sense of anything. You can't get any code. It even says this item of a, is obfuscated and cannot be translated. Um, and that's how you can protect yourself. And just to show you that the program still works, it doesn't make it not work or anything like that. I mean, I'll put the source for this one in the description as well, in case you wanted just a quick. I mean, this is a quick RuneScape one I made. It's not. I don't think it'd even work with people. Um, you might want to put some pictures or something or make it look a bit better. But it's literally just something I put together so I could show you a bit more of an advanced example. To show you that it still works. Now they don't have to click exploit, it'll send it straight after login, but I was just clicking exploit because I like to, to finish it off. And there we go, it still works perfectly. And nobody can read the code. I think that's about it. As I said, I'll put, I'll put all the um, download links for everything in the description for both videos. So just go ahead and uh, have a go at it.